For a close-up look at all your Concho Valley High School football, this is Inside the Game, sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Thank you all for tuning in for another show of Inside the Game. I'm Keon Russell, and let's get right to it. We are now in week nine of high school football here in Texas, and we are nearing the end. With just three weeks left, we start tonight off with the Central Bobcats, who sit at 5-2 and 2-0 and two and in District 2-6A, taking on Midland Legacy on the road. The lone 6A school here in the Concho Valley is off to a hot start in district play. Sitting tied with the Friendship Tigers in first, the Central Bobcats have put their losses to bed and have been dominating in district play so far this season. We're sitting here 2-0 uh, and oh, and we're sitting in a good spot, but uh, we've still got a lot of work left to do. And so we're trying to take it just one at a time, you know, and try to do the best that we can. Uh, each week, one of our goals to, to win one game a week and not focus on the on the future or the past. But um, you know, we got to go over there Friday and, and play uh, pretty much flawlessly. Um, you know, to to uh, give ourselves an opportunity to win on the road against Midland Legacy. The thing about District 26A, it's a dogfight every single week. Last week, Midland Legacy took down undefeated Odessa Permian, who was 6-0, and the Bobcats took down Odessa High. Coming up this week, Friendship 2-0 in District is taking on Permian, and 2-0 Central is taking on Midland Legacy. This district is wide open for anyone to take first place. Every single week, uh, any team can beat anybody, and so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's a lot of fun to play in. I mean, there's so much tradition, and... Uh, in the in the uh, little Southwest Conference District 26A, a lot of tradition, but but like you said, I mean it's it's a uh, it's a dogfight week in and week out. Anybody can beat anybody. Central head coach Kevin Crane stated this matchup wouldn't be a walk in the park for the Bobcats, and he knows exactly what they need to accomplish on the field to come out on top successfully. We got to go over there. We got to be ready to play. We've got to um, take care of the football. We've got to have. Uh, very few penalties. We've got to limit our penalties and just play clean football. You know, really, it's not it's not just one thing. It's a series of things that we got to have, that we're going to have to do to, to have a chance to win. On over to the game, Rebels in great field position. Zeke Luna gets the handoff, follows his blockers, makes a man miss, and is in for six. A 34-yard touchdown run, seven to zero legacy. Bobcats quarterback Tyler Hill hits Tyler Walker. However, the Cats unable to get any points out of this drive. Still. 7-0. Rebels market Marcos Davila back to pass finds Aiden Serrano for the four-yard touchdown. Rebels lead 14-0 in the first quarter. Bobcats respond though. Hill throws a bomb down the field. Jacob English outruns the Rebels secondary. 50-yard touchdown for Central. Central suffers their first district loss of the season tonight, unfortunately, 56-29. Week 9 has put things in perspective for many teams here in the Concho Valley. A couple must-wins for some of our teams here, right here in the Concho Valley, like I said. And that proves to be true here for the Lakeview Chiefs. Looking to snap that four-game losing streak, taking on Big Springs. Big Springs steals this one, though, 21-7. The 10th-ranked Wall Hogs going on the road to take on the TLCA Eagles on the road. First Eagles possession, Lane Honey drops back to pass and is intercepted in the middle of the field by Caleb Vows who returns it 15 yards before being brought down by an Eagles defender. After the interception, Gunnar Dillard tosses it to the running back, Luke Kemp. He follows his blockers and reaches across the goal line for a Hawks touchdown. Wall jumps out to an early 7-0 lead in the first quarter. After another defensive stop, Luke Kemp does it again, takes a pitch from Gunnar, reads his blocks, breaks a tackle, and scores another touchdown for the Hawks. They would extend their lead 14-0. Still in the first quarter. Now, this time, it's Dane Reynolds with the carry, outruns one defender, and lowers his shoulder as he gets to the goal line there to get the Hawks score before the end of the first. While we're going to win this one, big, 55-0. to zero. We move on over to some more District 2-3A games here in Division 2. Brady meets Ballinger in this one. Tonight, the Bearcats, three out of their last four times meeting on the gridiron. The Bulldogs get back on track after a loss last week and defeats Ballinger 40-26. to 26. We then have the Grape, Bre Grape Creek Eagles facing the long, early Longhorns. Grape Creek winless on the season and still searching for that first win of the season. And tonight, this one continues as they fall early, big, early, early big, 69-0. Let's move over to our District 3 2A Division 1. We have three of our Concho Valley teams in that division. The Cristobal Cougars are off to a great 2-0 start in district play, taking on a well-coached 4 sand team here tonight. 
The winner here tonight has a chance to secure a playoff spot. Fort Sam wins this one, 14 to 6. We move on to the next game, the Sonora Broncos at home against the Anthony Wildcats. The Broncos got back to the winning column here on tonight, beating Anthony 48 to 6 at home in a blowout. And the Ozona Lions still searching for that first district win. And it doesn't come here tonight. They lose 39 to 7 against Regan. Stay with us. We're going to get you more updates on your teams right here in the Concho Valley. See you right after this break. Try Texas Burger's new Banana Royale. You'll love it. It's almost time for fall, y'all. So come to Trenton Furniture where we have all new selections that have just arrived for you. From reclining furniture, recliners, mattresses, it's all in stock and ready to go. Plus, up to 30% savings and three years no interest. With all new styles, free delivery, and savings galore, it's time to fall in love with all the values at Trend Furniture. So get ready for fall with up to 30% off and three years no interest, where it's all in stock and free delivery. Trend Furniture across from Sunset Mall, 4002 Wellington. For more than 65 years, Webb Stokes & Sparks has recognized and honored our responsibility to our clients and community. Our relationships here and across the state are built on integrity, respect, compassion, and trust, and have been since 1956. We understand how an injury can affect your life and the life of your loved ones. When you need experience and strength on your side, you need Webb Stokes & Sparks. Injured? We can help. Call Webb Stokes & Sparks for a free case evaluation. Join us this fall at the Lone Star Market Warehouse in Ballinger, October 28th and 29th for vintage handmade goods and more. 10 to 5 on Friday and 9 to 4 on Saturday. Admission is $6 and kids 12 and under are free. Come shop the Lone Star. Never miss a thing with ConchoValleyHomePage.com. Live local radar, instant breaking news alerts, all in one spot. ConchoValleyHomePage.com and the Concho Valley Homepage app. Welcome back here to Inside the Game. Sterling City and Water Valley were ready for their district matchup here tonight. To Diddle Young Field we go. The Wildcats and the Eagles in 11-man action tonight. First quarter, first drop of the game for the Eagles. Ty Turner scrambling to the left, finds a hole, cuts back, and he is in for the Eagles' touchdown. Scores 6-0 with a block extra point. Wildcats trying to put together a drive. Chayden Gibbs gets hit on the play, and there is Tristan Himes in the right spot for an Eagles interception, and he will take this one to the house. Score now 14-0. Two-point conversion is good. Start of the second quarter now. Turner connects with Cash Johnson, and look at his speed. No one is touching him, and him showing his toughness at the end there. Score now 20-0. Two-point conversion, no good. Eagles looking for more now. Momentum, Turner keeps it himself. Makes a man miss, and it's in for six, as you can see here. Making the score now 26 to zero. Sterling City wins this one, 42 to 14 on the night. The five and two Mason Punchers went on the road to, uh, to their district opponent, Junction Eagles, who are looking to turn things around this season. Junction now sits at two and five on the season and will fall in this one, and Mason 60 to zero. We have yet another district match. Ira Ann versus El Dorado. El Dorado looking to stay in the playoff race, hosting Ira Ann this evening. The Eagles strike first. Omar Bajarez fakes the handoff, takes it in himself from a few yards out. 7-0 El Dorado. A little later, Omar again pounding his way into the end zone. 14-0, Eagles way. The Eagles go on to win this one tonight. Big, 42-0. Next up, we have our K-San game of the week. The eighth-ranked Erie and County Hornets going on the road to take on the Robert Lee Steers. We caught up with both schools before this one. Our K-San game of the week is highlighting two powerhouse six-man programs here in the Concho Valley. The undefeated Erie and County Hornets are traveling to take on the 7-1 and one Robert Lee Steers. It's been enjoyable, uh, and we want to continue it out being enjoyable, and I think it will as long as the... Uh, Kids keep working hard, and that's what makes it makes it enjoyable. Yes, we've won seven games, um, but just seeing them work and improve, it's, it's made it worth it, um, and we'll just keep on going. Being 7-1 and one to start the season isn't easy, and this Robert Lee team is determined and hungry to keep winning and earn their respect back. Yes, it's just come from uh, determination. Um, and, and, you know, the, the kids wanting to, wanting to gain a little respect this year, um, and, and determined to do that. And, you know, seeing them uh, start from day one and, and the work that they put in, um, 
I think that's where it comes from. Earn the respect, because we've lost a lot of our respect that the older classmen have earned, and we're earning all that back. Now over to the Erion County Hornets, a team that hasn't seen a playoff win in a long time is undefeated and pushing for not only a district title, but a strong run in the playoffs. District championship would mean the world to everybody here, and, and it would mean, mean the world to them boys as hard as they've been working and, and the, the effort they're putting in and the attitude they, they give me in, in film session. And, and like I stated, you know, even in the last three weeks, I feel like the energy has picked up rather than dropped off. Uh, you know, you get, you get to game six, Six, seven, week seven, eight, nine. It things get a little tougher, but uh, the energy has picked up with this group of guys, and and a district championship is truly what they're shooting for. Now going week in and week out, undefeated for most teams is a challenge, but this Hornets team says they know they can't give up any errors on the field, and they feel like it's only day one for them. Give them no error. If we have to prepare the same, even if it's undefeated. They haven't won a game. We still have to prepare our best week in and week out. It's it's fun. It gives us something to work on, um, something to look forward to the next game. Uh, we're not very tired, I guess we could say. Uh, we come out, we get a lot of energy. We're working in the weight room every day, so it's just like day one. Now on over to our K-Stand game of the week itself. The Steers hosting the unbeaten Arian County Hornets. The Horn is going to respond first. Pitch is good. Jordan Harrison will run it in. 8-0, to zero, Arian County leads. Here's the big man quarterback, Trevin Kofel. He'll stride down the field for a 38-yard touchdown. Hornets on top, 14-0. to zero. And one more time for the Hornets. Kofel with a beautiful connection to Bo Morrow for the touchdown. The Hornets remain undefeated and take this one, 58 to We now will be joined by Shelby to give us a little bit more insight on this one. Go ahead and tell us about this one, Shelby. Hey, Keon, it was not the turnout that the Steers wanted tonight at home, but going into week 10 at 7-2 and two is something to still be incredibly proud of. As for Erion County, though, it was all gas, no breaks for the Hornets tonight as they put 58 points up against the Steers on the road. Some key takeaways for tonight's game. QB Trevin Kofel is really just that good at football. Tonight, not only was his passing on point, but his feet were on fire, running in for a 38-yard touchdown for himself. Some other Hornets who stood out tonight on the gridiron in tonight's matchup was number three, Jordan Harrison, number two, Parker Posey, and number six, Bo Murrow, who all had touchdowns for themselves. Now I want to talk about Harrison for a second. In the first quarter, he did have an interception for the Hornets, which then led to that Parker Posey touchdown. So all of the Hornets were in action tonight on that field. The Hornets do take this one 58-2-0 over the Steers and remain the only undefeated Concho Valley team. Well, that's all from out here at the Griffith Stadium. I'm Shelby Rhodes, KSAN Sports. Let's send it back to you, Keon. This live shot brought to you by Advanced Custom Windows. All right, thank you for that, Shelby. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this short break. Hey, want to cool off a bit? Introducing the Diamond 5, our newest cool sleep mattress. Our patent-pending copper technology is 10 degrees cooler than your room temperature. This exclusive copper-infused memory foam technology pulls heat away from your body so you sleep cooler, deeper, and more comfortable. Get the lowest price of the year on this mattress and more. Now, just $10.99. What are you waiting for? Cool off and sleep better. Home Zone, Texas born, family owned. On an urgent fansville by Dr. Pepper. Hurry, it's almost kickoff. I am. Oh, they logged me out. What's the password? Okay, it's P23XR ampersand. Dude, the cat's log is on. Oh. How much time we got? I miss basic cable. There we go. What was that? What was that? Oh no, I got the spinning wheel. Oh. Fans down by Dr. Pepper. Oh. This is commercial. Game hasn't started. They play these too much. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Denver Mattress has always believed in investing right here. With American-made mattresses, built with unrivaled quality, and sold at factory direct prices. Because improving your sleep life should always be easy and affordable. And during the incredible value sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or save $300 on Tepper Breeze and Lux Adapt mattresses and get a $300 gift. Plus, four years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. 
Welcome back to Inside the Game. We take you to the Menard and Very Best game for more six-man action on the night. Very Best going on the road here for a matchup with Menard. First quarter, Menard strikes first. Isaiah Stanislawski takes the handoff, as you can see here, goes right up the gut, and he is gone. The Yellow Jackets lead early, 8-0. Very Best will respond, though. On fourth and goal, Hunter Hallmark finds a wide-open lane. Palmer to tie this game up at 8. After that, all Menard. Stanislawski gets the pitch, follows his blockers, and scores again. Menard wins this one, 54-8. The Paint Rock Indians went on the road to the Rising Star Wildcats for a non-district matchup. Paint Rock, who has dropped their last two games, are looking to get back in the win column for, the, for this one tonight. Unfortunately, Rising Star wins this one, 50-0. The Brown Longhorns at home for this one against Trent. Early here in the first quarter, Jaden Galvin pitches it to his running back, Tegan Minarez. Tegan catches the pitch and is outruns the Trenton defenders for a touchdown. The Bront Longhorns will go up 6-0. Still in the first now, Tegan takes the pitch again, cuts inside the defender, and meets contact as he runs in for a touchdown. Bront leads 14-0. All right, Jaden Galvin takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and launches it down the field. Joel Pena for the score. Bront leads this one 22-0 after that. Tegan Minarez had himself a date, fakes the pass, splits the defenders, and gets some chopping on his way to the end zone. Even runs through a would-be tackler here at the end. Bront wins this one, 64-7. The Blackwell Hornets went on the road tonight to face a district opponent, Lorraine Bulldogs. The Blackwell Hornets came into this one on a three-game winning streak and are hoping to get another. This is their first district matchup of the season, but they fall to a scrappy Lorraine team, 28-8. Abilene TLCA taking on Miles. Opening possession of the game, the Eagles backed up, fumbled the snap, and that results in a safety. Jackson Patillo with the tackle, 2-0 to zero dogs. Opening possession for Miles, the screen game, Haven Book quickly outmans. Manuel Torres, excuse me, and he does the rest. Green grass and six points from 50 yards out, 8-0. to zero. More from the dogs, this time the defense doing some work. Dylan Garza there for the interception. Miles going to win this one big, 81 to a goose egg. And that's a wrap for week nine. When we come back, we'll take a look at week 10. See you right after this. It's the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. And right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get four years no interest financing. But hurry, the home makeover sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Do you have a child with special needs? If the answer is yes, we have an event that is designed with your child in mind. It's the KLSDK Sand Fall Festival, sponsored by Jim Bass Ford for children with special needs. It's happening on Tuesday, October the 25th from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at Jim Bass Ford on Houston Heart and Arden Road. For more information, call 949-4621 or 949-8800. Join us so your child can enjoy an evening of safe, free family fun, customized just for them. And don't forget to wear your favorite costume. It's the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. And right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get four years no interest financing. But hurry, the home makeover sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Welcome back here to Inside the Game. Let's take a look at some Week 10 games. Week 10, we start with the Central taking on Odessa Permian at home. Looking to do battle in the district matchup next week. Central will look to get a much-needed win after falling tonight to Midland Legacy. The 10th-ranked Wallhawks will then welcome in early. Another battle of undefeateds in district play. Wallhawks have been on a tear, dominating team after team. And our final game for our k -San for our K-San game of the week, Week 10 preview, is Sonora versus Cristobal. Two really good teams meeting for a district match. Sonora is coming off of a big win here tonight against Anthony, and Cristobal fell here tonight against Forsan. Next week will be a fun one. Well, thank you for watching Week 9 of Inside the Game here on K-San. I'm your host, Keon Russell, and I look forward to seeing you all back here next week where it will be a big week that has playoff implications. All right, that's all from me. See you next Friday on Inside the Game. Inside the Game is sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Catering for Inside the Game is provided by Double Dave's Pizza Works.